Hello everyone, and welcome to this new tutorial for Maverick Render. In this new tutorial we will talk about new displacement improvements for Maverick Studio and Maverick Indie. Let's import a new material, and once again we will use a substance source asset. Click on the substance button, and import your material by double clicking on any of the available textures. Select the ambience of your choice for your material and click next. Make sure that displacement is enabled, and click proceed. Now that our material has loaded, we will add a spotlight to better reveal the shape and details. We will create a hard spotlight to create strong focused lighting on the material object. Using the normal light tool, we easily position it exactly where we want. You can tweak the light's color to set it apart from the other light sources a little more. And now we will see how to apply displacement to any scene object very easily. Let's add a new object to our scene. Step back a bit, use the mouse wheel to move the camera in and out. Select the existing object and move it aside to make room for the new object which will appear in the world center, where our current sphere is. Enable the Move tool from the toolbar icon, or press the Q key on your keyboard. For this example we will use a library primitive object, but you can use any object you want. Since the current object is already a library primitive, Maverick will show a name conflict dialog. Simply select the appropriate option to resolve the conflict. In our case, rename and merge is exactly what we want. Our new sphere has been added to the scene. You can see it from the objects panel as well, with a new name. Let's see how we can add displacement to this new object. Go to the materials panel, and from the maps list you can see the textures from the material we previously imported. Locate the displacement map, in this case it has a height suffix. Make sure the object you want to apply displacement to is selected, and right click on the texture to reveal a new contextual option, activate displacement with this map. The same function can be found using this new icon at the top of the materials panel. The object has instantly been displaced using the selected map. You can now apply the shaded material. Let's try with yet another object from the library. Before, move the new sphere a bit to make room for the next object. Now drag and drop a library object such as a cylinder, or merge your own. Make sure it's selected, and again go to the materials panel, find your displacement map and select activate displacement for this map. By default displacement is view dependent, but since we have moved around in the scene our current view does not match what the camera sees. This is the cause for the top part showing low quality displacement, this part is out of the camera field of view. Reposition the camera to see the whole cylinder, and click the store viewpoint button or create a new camera from here. Click the update displacement button, and now the cylinder is showing regular displacement subdivision. Apply the shaded material again, and you're done. As you can see this new workflow makes using displacement on multiple objects from the library or you own objects, very easy. We demonstrated this using library objects, but you can use the same method for any custom object that you import or merge in Maverick. For the next example, we will delete these objects and add a new plane and apply our displacement map. Make sure the plane object is selected before activating the displacement map. Again you can very clearly see here the camera field of view, generating more polygons on the parts it sees, and fewer outside of the field of view. Choose a camera position and click store viewpoint, then click the update displacement button. Apply the material back to the plane object. You can quickly go to the object parameters using the edit object button, at the bottom left corner of the render window. We will lower the height a little, to 0.6 for example.
Now we enable depth of field by right clicking on the render and unchecking the disable global DOF option. Remember from previous videos that you can set your focus point by holding the control and shift keys and clicking where you want focus in the render. Click on the edit camera button and change the aperture value to increase depth of field, which reduces the amount of defocus blur just like a real camera. Now let's configure displacement more precisely. Go to edit object and enable the adaptive toggle which will create more polygons where it's needed. You can use the wireframe material from the library's miscellaneous folder to visualize the actual displacement geometry. This will help you make sure you are generating the appropriate subdivision, not too little, not too much. Go to the render panel and from the subdivision and displacement rollout, lower the max length parameter for example to 0.6. Many more polygons were generated and displacement is much smoother now. Apply the shaded material again to see the final result. Maverick provides a complete set of tone mapping options to produce a high quality final render, ready to use without post production in many cases. Tone mapping controls work similarly to common photo editing software, providing great flexibility right inside of Maverick. That's all for this tutorial, see you in the next one. Thank you for watching this video. Have fun rendering with Maverick.